This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm playing with something that you guys have wanted me to play with for a little while. It's a fun little deck, but unfortunately, uh, it seems we have not opened something that would be considered too terribly optimal, uh, but I'm playing this uh, this Zoo Performer Pal deck that I most recently put up. Now, uh, what I have access to is I can put these in my scale, uh, draw a card, and then use Duelist Alliance, so that's going to have to be what has to be done. Um, I will be able to Pendulum Summon another uh, Pendulum Sorcerer because Duelist Alliance can search another one. Uh, but this is a very suboptimal play string um, in the essence of I needed to get something else. But I've got a bunch of like back row cards in the form of I've got Maxi, Ash Blossom, and all that. So I I can I can establish this in a good you know sort of way. But so we'll just Pendulum Summon this just as the one. It's a very slow start because unfortunately we didn't get Barrage. Um, is the key thing that is the problem here. Uh, but so I could target them both um, and search Lizard Draw like Dag Dagger Man, or I could make uh, Broad Bull into Dryden't if I leave this here. And I will make Broad Bull into Dryden't actually. Um, I'll just do this, uh, pop this to search for the Skull Crabat Joker, which I'll then normal summon. Uh, the normal summon will get me. Um, a lizard draw, so I can have it for next turn to draw two cards. And then uh, I'll overlay these into Broad Bull, which I'll search rep here with. Uh, and then I'll uh, I'll be able to do things there. Or do I even want to search rep here? I might just search the low scale, just because I've got things set up as well as I do. In fact, I think that's probably just the better move, um, is to do that. So that's what we will experiment with. So yeah, we'll use the Broad Bull here. Um, because I've got the Pendulum Sorcerer in the extra deck, we'll do this and we'll search for the low scale just to guarantee that we have it because we've got tons of zoo cards left in the deck. So there's a lot of different things we could go with. And ending on Dryden is still pretty damn strong. Um, and plus, because we got Dryden plus these like back row cards, and the essence of I've got Maxi is going to draw me cards. I'm guaranteed to draw two next turn if this good turtle stays around. I have no idea what my opponent is playing for this one, so there's definitely not any sort of, uh, any, like, information I could use beforehand. Ah! A, uh, a Scorpio. Um, well, my dear duelist, I'm just gonna go ahead and Ash Blossom that. Um, just because it's, like, the easiest thing to Ash Blossom, and then if you commit any further cards... Oh, he's playing Fluffles. Haha, <laughs> poor bastard. Um, alright. Uh, well, if he activates Toy Vendor's effect... I'm going to just go ahead and drop the max C here because if he draws into a fluffle, I want to be able to you know get a special summon resolution effect off of drawing off this max C. And I've got this warning still as well, so we can definitely work with that. Uh, what is this thing? Um, this thing is fluffle penguin, and he can special summon um, only once while it's face upon the field. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that. Um, this may seem a little bit strange, but I'm just going to start literally using my resources around. I don't want him to do anything with that. And since that's not a trigger on summon effect, I feel completely fine with just popping that. Um, so he's getting another toy vendor. He's going to have to activate it and try to dig, I'm assuming. I just, like, this deck is just so, this deck is just so fragile. This is why I don't like decks like Fluffles, because now I'm just free reign to actually just go ham. I drew Wisdom Eye. That's actually just broken. Uh, but so, we're just going to go absolutely insane uh, in terms of what we have access to. Because we're going to draw two cards here. Uh, so that's Solemn Strike to pair with the warning. I didn't even have to use the warning. Holy shit. Um, okay. Well, so what we'll do is we'll activate this in the scale. This gives us a quick plus one. Uh, so this will pop for the Dragon Pulse. God damn. Alright, so we get to Pendulum Summon four cards. Uh, off of the Wisdom Eye, the, uh, the Wisdom Eye, the Pendulum Sorcerer, the Ram Ram and the Dragoons of Draconia, and so then I could I could search Mask Chameleon, I could spin his Toy Vendors, I can do things like that to where uh, things are pretty good for me in terms of how that is going to be structured. Uh, but what I actually want to do is I'm going to pop his Scorpio with my Dryden, potentially. I'm just going to Pendulum Summon first. 
Um, that's the first thing that's going to happen. Is I'm going to Pendulum Summon this. I'm going to Pendulum Summon the Ram Ram. I'm going to Pendulum Summon the uh, the Sorcerer. And I'm also going to Pendulum Summon the uh, the uh, Dragoons of Draconia. Uh, because I'm going to be able to pop with this Sorcerer. And I'm going to pop the... Uh, I'm going to pop the... What do I want to pop here? I don't want a warning this. This is definitely not the question. Um, I could pop the Ram Ram, but that's not going to get anything from Grave that's worthwhile. I could get Broad Bull, um, get a search, and do that. So yeah, um, what we'll do is I'll target the Dragon Pulse and I will target the Ram Ram. This is the play we're doing here. And then we're going to use the Dryden here, detaching this Broad Bull to target this and kill it. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get the Dag Dagger Man and we'll get the uh, the Lizard Draw. That's a high and a low scale. Uh, the Dag Dagger Man gives cards back. Uh, so then the Ram Ram is going to add uh, to special summon the go to special summon the Bullhorn back, and then I'll be able to go Tiger Mortar over this, reattach a material on the Bullhorn, and then search for a Whip Tail. Um, and that that would be like really good for me in terms of uh, the play strength. Uh, but I also get to use Dag Dagger Man to add back the uh, Skull Crabat Joker and Normal Summon that. Uh, but that ties up my Pendulum Scale. There's a there's a few different things that go uh, that go hand in hand here. But so yeah, we'll do an Xyz. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no! Bad touch. How many does Tiger Mortar take? It takes three. It fucking takes three. You cannot believe how absolutely un unenthused I am right now that I literally just made Tiger Mortar with three materials. You do not understand how displeased I am right now, but it's perfectly fine because I still win anyway. God damn it, I hate I hate Dev Pro's prompts. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them with a passion. Uh, so we'll do this, so we'll just search a whip tail. No harm, no foul, no biggie. Um, this is so goddamn awful. Uh, but I get to uh, summon Chaka 9, which I can then get the Ram Ram back out. Not like it really matters. Damn it, my play string was so cool! What I had access to. But now it's just fucking terrible. Um. God. Damn it! I hate, I hate, hate, hate. We're gonna make this dry and have shit tons of materials. <laughs> uh, it'll get a, it'll get a whip tail under it at least. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm not even putting the Dag Dagger Man in the scale now. It doesn't even matter. I'm so angry at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro prompts because it's just like, yeah, it sees. I mean, fuck it. I, you, don't, you, don't, you don't care about that, right? Uh, this should have been in attack mode, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just there as a floater. Um, so what we're going to do here is this this uh, this whip tail, or this Dryden is new. So what we're doing here is we're going to attach the whip tail under the Dryden. This is a cool little play for you children at home. Uh, you activate the Dryden's effect after you put the Whiptail under it, attaching that Whiptail, targeting the Ram Ram. <laughs> Use the Ram Ram's effect to bring back the Whiptail again. Um, and then you get to attack with it again before you put it under the Dryden again and attack with it. Uh, that's one of my favorite plays to do with this. Uh, but, at the same time, um, I still don't see myself losing this game because all he's got is Toy Vendors. But still, it's kind of irritating at the fact that this is something that was... Uh, that happened to me. I don't like it. I actually just overlay three into Tiger Mortar. Fuck this game. Fuck this simulate. Fuck this simulated dueling platform. I absolutely cannot stand it for the things that it does. We're gonna solemn warning that. I'm not even gonna give you the time of day. No. 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 <laughs> we're we're not messing with that. Um. So yeah, like I said, I just win anyway. Um. Just because of the way that this is happening and structuring. Uh, but so the Shaka 9 is here. It's not gonna be doing anything. I don't even have a pendulum sorcerer in my graveyard. We'll fix that um, I'm gonna activate this Get my draws God Oh, there's the pendulum rising cool. That means I get to search luster pendulum uh, And there's a tanky so now we just get to kill him. We 100% we get to kill him. We got to kill him last turn, but instead Shit said no um, <laughs> That's the only thing that that happened there. Uh, but I can Pendulum Rising the second rat away into Sorcerer. I can use this to get Luster. Uh, I could do a lot of different things. Or I could just activate this in my scale, get back Skulker by Joker, and normal summon that. Uh, which I'm a little bit more keen to do right now just because I'm tired of trying to think about how to do these things. 
and I would rather just not have to mess with it. Um, <laughs> it's just, this is just how it happens. Uh, so we'll normal summon this. This will get its effect. I'll get another Pendulum Sorcerer out of my deck. Uh, I'll Pendulum Summon it. I'll pop, like, the Broad Bull and the Chalk and Nine just for room pro purposes. Well, I can't even Pendulum Summon that. I'm going to have to use this. I'm going to have to use this first. Uh, we'll use the Dryden, um, Detaching Tiger Mortar to pop my Broad Bull just so I have room to Pendulum the Rat and the Pendulum Sorcerer at the same time. Uh, then we'll activate this just because we have one target left in deck, so we might as well. At least the deck is functioning. The deck is functioning very well, uh, but I just hate the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro prompts. <laughs> they don't they do not do me well. Uh, but So we'll pendulum this from hand, this from hand, and uh, that will allow us some things to mess with. Uh, no, I would definitely like to do this. I'm going to pop the Shaka 9 and the Tenki, just because they're free cards. We'll get the other two pendulums out of my deck, and then I can just do uh, some rat plays here, because I do still have Borbo in my extra deck, uh, which means I can get Rap here, and I can use it. And I think Pendulum Rising isn't even live anymore. No, I do have like a Dragon Pulse Magician in my deck, which I could use, uh, but we're not about that right now. But we are going to make uh, the Digesto Emerald here to start putting things back into our, my deck, because I've lost so many resources <laughs> off of the bullshittery that has been going on. Uh, do this, Tiger Mortar, and we'll do Dryden. That way we can construct our Xyz stack. Uh, that's another Duelist Alliance that's not even live anymore. Uh, kind of irking, but whatever. Uh, but so this, this is here. Uh, this can be made into a Broad Bull. And I can use the Broad Bull to search for Whip Tail. And then I can, uh, then I can just close this game out. Uh, because I've got enough damage on board to do so. So we'll search for Whip Tail. We'll Tiger Mortar, Ram Ram back underneath this, uh, under this, and then we'll put Dryden's on top of this one. Uh, so it'll it'll be functioning well, um, and we'll be having things work for us. So yeah, Ram Ram back underneath this, just to give it that extra 400 attack, and then we'll just go into the Dryden, and then we will use the Whip Tail underneath it. So I've got way too many cards to my name, uh, but that's just how this deck works. That's that's how this deck operates because of the fact that this is the only deck that still maintains a draw three to four play naturally because the zoo engine is going to yield you two cards and then the pendulum engine is going to yield you another two cards because of the way the Gaturtle and lizard draw interact with each other this is one of my most favorite decks in the world i love playing it i love theorying with it i love doing all that what i don't like is i don't like Yu-Gi-Oh pros prompts that just say yeah exceeds whoops <laughs> I've been the thing is I've been playing zoo long enough that I should know that that little thing shouldn't be like that but the thing is like it almost never happens in that instance where you just have like three level fours out on the board when you're trying to make tiger mortar or four level fours when you have out that you have out that you're trying to make Dryden with um, every time that usually happens it usually happens with either broad bull or shock and nine which is fine because that's super salvageable anyway because you're just you know making a generic rank four but that one ooh. Ooh, that one was bad. <laughs> that one was terrible in terms of what it uh, provided for me. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this gameplay in the comments down below. My opponent got really shut out because while I didn't open combo cards to allow me to do my draw four combo or my draw three combo or whatever, I opened a way to just make one defensive line and then have three others in my hand. So... I mean, this deck is really consistently good at just doing that, and the fact of, like, you either combo off, or you were drawing not combo pieces, which are defensive cards, and you can still just shit out a Dryden't. So, like, that's actually just super good um, for what the deck's capable of doing. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Thanks for watching all that sort of nonsense. But, as always, links are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly, support the things that I do for this channel, support some projects I've got coming up in the future that are just lacking funding in order to become like something that I can do on a regular basis. If you want to support any of those, or if you want to get access to my personal Discord server, where me and a bunch of other people are constantly talking, and it's where I always get people to play games with me for if you want to be someone to play games with me on the channel then definitely go check out the patreon page and start looking at the rewards tiers and stuff like that but even something as small as a dollar is a fantastic way to show your support for the channel and the things that i do and help future things come into fruition faster as i've already said but other than that again let me know what your thoughts are on this deck in the comments down below do you want to see me play more of this deck it's got zoo in it but it's also a really cool zoo deck because it's 
Zoo Performer Pal. It's a Zoo Pendulum based deck. Uh, it's a deck that I'm always constantly working around with and stuff like that. So if you want to see more of it, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, all that sort of nonsense. If you're new here and like what you saw and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content, then maybe consider subscribing as well. I would definitely love to welcome you to the family and the community that is based around this channel. But other than that, that has been it for this video. As I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And take care. I will see you in the next video.